Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to another glorious, and I do mean glorious, episode. I just blew out the mic. It's okay. Glorious episode of Jedi Talk. I am your glorious host, Brad Hughes. You might know me from drinking online. Uh, you also might know me from this podcast. And you know who else is on this podcast? You guys. And you know who's to my right? The man, the myth, the legend, Evan T. Boucher. A Diga and good journey. I think uh, we all feel a little bit rusty. It's why you blew the mic out. It feels like it's been two months. I know. But we're back. We're, we're back. We're back. And to his right, a man with a thousand crusty eyed mornings, Tom Oakery. By the right of the council, by the will of the force, I just keep tripping into shit and I get pink eye over and over again. That's <laughs> how I got crusty eyes. That That's happens. What happens. That's I, fall what happens. Into, I fall into that bantha fodder. <laughs> I didn't know Kyle was around. Ah, uh, yeah, he, he 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 likes to glam on the popularity of the good things I do. Yeah, for and, sure. And he and then he'll just start to tear it down religiously, and he finds really t- terrible things to 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 rip on us. About, yeah, he so. he found something terrible to rip on me on Fourth Mother Box. Now I haven't listened yet because he's on the, he's on the show, and it's upsetting, and I don't really want to hear his voice. But it's he sad. made fun of me for what liking is. Justin Timberlake, which. Hey, buddy! I said I, I said that you would do that in the in the comment. Who doesn't like Justin Timberlake? Probably. Tom. I don't go out of my way to listen <laughs> to him, but I mean, I don't like listen to him every day. But I he's side good. with Britney in the war between him and Britney, though. Really? Yes, of I course. I didn't know there Why? was a war. I do because he just he he rubs me off, especially. I'll just he say rubs this: you off? Yes. <laughs> yep. If if he um, then I would have sided with him. <laughs> if the allegations are true that he like. Did, didn't he force her to get an abortion or something? That sounds. You're that sounds also listening whack. to somebody who got her children taken away I, from her and was. I understand. And which uh, is really hashtag, hard to do. Hashtag free as a Britney. woman. Hashtag in the, free in these moments, I like to separate the person from the artist. And I don't care. Oh yeah, so go for it. They make good art, even though they might be terrible people. So I don't know anything about the Britney and Justin thing. Me I neither. Just, I just I feel bad for Britney for on from a distance because like sure. the conservatorship, it just sounds awful. Yeah, it does, but. Yeah. Sh- you know that's what it's there for a reason. People that need that. It was the, it, I, also. I will say, as someone who's been through the court system with kids, you got to be pretty fucked up to be in a conservatorship. Yeah, I mean, she was, but, but she was. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like she was that is, groomed that's, that's to, into a like better sense. To, that's not like you just go to like a, a judge and go. I know, but hey, she's crazy. And they're like, oh, let's take her kids from her and, and make her parents in charge. But it, what I'm trying to say is, she's crazy because of the surroundings around her. At, oh, sure. At 17, she was like the sex symbol of America. Like, yeah, it's which fucked is wild. up. That's yeah. So, it's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> this is Jedi talk, not yeah, Britney Spears talk. About, talk. We're breaking down Britney Spears. God. Sorry, I think. <laughs> but also, hey, Kyle. I get to wear shorts in February. You wear shorts <laughs> in February, you're dead, okay? Which is what we all wish would happen anyway. So go and go enjoy that frozen hellscape you call Chicago, and uh, just know that everyone hates you there as much as we do. Kyle's a piece of shit. And everything that those people said on that wrestling podcast was accurate and correct, and I stand by But Kyle, by it. when you're done recording the next episode and you're spewing your bullshit about here, make an appointment with Kevorkian and fucking kill yourself, okay? <laughs> Thanks. That's still one of the best clips ever. If you want to add more insult too, just like four hours ago, I was at Animal Kingdom. So I mean, take oh, yeah. that. You can't, you can't do that in Chicago. And I'm going to Epcot tonight in it's shorts great. and flip flops. You're gonna great. freeze to well, death if you look. Outside. I took the off for work tomorrow for Valentine's Day. I'm nice. going to Epcot as well. You going nice. to Epcot? Yeah, I'm going oh, to Magic Kyle's tomorrow. Not. No, Kyle's, 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 Kyle's going Kyle's to Magic tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at you! Yeah, yeah. Look at you! I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Oh, I know what we're doing. We do. We're doing our tradition. We stay home. We drink champagne. We make steaks and risotto. Oh, there you boys. go. Nice. There you go. And we got a grill now, so you boys going to be grill master Bradley with the steaks. What did you guys think about the Super Bowl there? Did you watch it? I did. It was fun. I made fun. a ton of money. I'm very happy. Yeah. You weren't that happy in your stories over there. No. I Acting hate. like people who watch football are the only people who act that way to things that they like. Maybe, but it's a weird I'm, thing. No, not maybe. It's a weird not thing. Not maybe. I'll, everybody does. Hey, what are some good yeah. examples of that? Right, come on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get... Arrested because I was peeing at Disney Springs. That's I'm stupid. Drunk watching the Super Bowl. So I'm an NFL fan, but I didn't yeah. piss at the Springs. No, but NFL Wait, makes people wild. Yeah, sure it does. They were Anything drunk makes watching people watching the Super Bowl. Wild. Well, dude, wild. it's just a numbers thing. There's always there, most people didn't do that. Well, I want you to go to the St. <laughs> Patrick's Day Parade on the south side of Chicago. No, man. see, I don't like wild things, so I don't like the Super Bowl. I, I don't like, like I like wild St. Patrick's. You Day wouldn't go to the Super Bowl? No. Like if you had a free ticket, you wouldn't go. No, I'd sell it. I don't think I would either. So much money. Wait, you won money? Did you like bet on the game? No, I worked a ton of hours and got oh, a lot of time. Yeah, he I works you, like, at a retail. Game or something. Awesome. No. What's up? We're recording. I went... Um, what the hell was I saying? Nobody Trying to awesome. make fun of me for That's liking awesome. things. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a high five <laughs> in a minute. Even though the NFL is ridiculous <laughs> sure. I'll be stupid. Down in a minute. Why are they stupid? 
Because it's just grown men giving each other brain cells. Weren't and people you, love it? Giving weren't each other you a brain basketball cells? coach? Yeah. How is that any different? I'm just defending liking the NFL. They don't all. give each other brain damage. But I also I like, don't like basketball anymore. It's also dead. So. It's I mean, the NFL has ever been. The okay. NFL's made some poor decisions. I do not. The ratings like, are horrible. I don't like the Taylor yeah. Swift thing. It's just it. Tim Marciano said it best. He, he, he and him and I were texting. He's like the NFL played out like the series fin- or season finale of a TV show <laughs> this year. And I'm like, it absolutely did. It was an exciting game, though. If you take sure. Taylor Swift out of it, sure. it was a great it was, game. Sure, but like Kansas City all year, like they they set it up to make you think like they weren't going to win because. They they were have wide receiver trouble. They they weren't the best team in the league this year. It looked by and large Philly had it at first, and then San Francisco looked unstoppable, and then Buffalo looked like they were going to take it, and then all in all, yeah, the Chiefs, yeah, me, took me it too. in the end. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's all but right. Uh, uh-huh. like, I don't understand though the hate <laughs> for other fandoms, not because of what you're saying, but because of like. Concert tickets can cost thousands of dollars. Super Bowl tickets can cost thousands of dollars, and those only last. Three hours, four hours, but then something that so costs five thousand dollars. I don't disagree with you. But, but last forty hours is not okay. The flip What's side of that is the once in a, like the Bears have only been to the Super Bowl once in my lifetime. Yeah. If I decided to go to that, I could have said it might it might, might have been worth it for five thousand dollars. If I was that big of a fan to well, go to you, a yeah, Super Bowl, if you like it, it's fine. But like, well, how are people? Hating on something for that last forty hours because they $5, they have to use an excuse they also don't to hate like, and they also yeah. just don't like the thing you like and that's fine. Yes, some people just aren't going to be enjoying that. Like yeah. I know people in my life who love Star Wars that would be like, I do not want to do that. That seems like work. It doesn't. That's not what I think of as fun. Like when they see people like like I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of like role playing. It's not my favorite thing to do. I had fun doing the Halcyon the times we did it, but I get that people, that's just not for certain people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're introverted. Like, fuck I that. Guess. I don't want to talk to people. I don't like to talk to people. Well, yeah. I, don't, I hate talking annoying, to though. people other places, but I loved it there. Yeah. So. Jocks are annoying and jo- jocks are full of, like, NFL fans are full of, like, l- like low testosterone fuckers who <laughs> yeah. get mad at just, <laughs> low like. Low brain cells, low t- testosterone, yeah. high alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Rude. <laughs> Wait, you're not you just said you have low T. Me. No, it was the alcohol thing. Oh. There's commercials on the radio for you, Brad. Um, this episode brought to you by TRT. TRT testosterone. Get the shot. No, you, this is the shot you want. Yeah, the that's jab, right. TRT, the jab you need. The jab you need. Nice. <laughs> to give your woman the speed. Okay. This episode brought to you by Blue Chew. Yeah, bluechew.com slash Jedi talk. talk. Soon. One day. Try Office Ladies. They they have a promo code for everything. Office Ladies? Yeah, Jenna, F- J- Jenna Fisher and um, uh, Angela Kinsey. Of the Office, they played Pam and Angela. They have a podcast. Yeah, the, where they rewatched every single episode <laughs> of The Office, and then and then they talk about behind the scenes stuff about it. That's, that's really cool. that's a great. I wish all shows did something like that. Career Enthusiasm really cool. just started doing it. Jeff, um, nice. Jeff Garland and Susie Esman are doing it. Jeff Garland is fucking hilarious. He is. Yeah. Big yeah. Dude, Disney so guy funny. too. Yeah. Big Disney guy. Big He's awesome. Big Chicago guy. He. Um, yeah, uh, you can tell. You, if you, yeah. I didn't know that, but that yeah. adds up one hundred percent. Goldberg's is funny. He's he's. I like him. Was a good show. He was in Goldberg's. Goldberg's is a good yeah. show. He got some hot water there for a little I bit. I, I don't know what happened that. about that. Who cares? Everyone Everybody does. gets hot yeah, water. It's, it's true. That's it life matter. anymore. We were at MegaCon. Speaking of things we that were, weren't hot water, if we nah, ever, MegaCon was great. Our next Star Wars movie. When we get a Star Wars trailer, I'll watch that Super Bowl for that trailer. <laughs> but that was the last time I watched like I half of a game. It. Was you and I waiting for episode nine? Trailer. Yeah, that's the most I, I've watched in ten years. I thought that, I don't know if you guys even heard about this, but did you see that Nickelodeon was doing like a simulcast? Yes. Did you I heard see about it after of, the fact? SpongeBob I, I, and Patrick. Were I knew doing, that like, it was like on, but we yeah, I don't, it's pretty I good. We have really? com, I don't think we had cable because we were looking into it at one point because we we had the kids. The kids are watching it with us, and um, I saw like Patrick and SpongeBob being like the commentators. I'm like this is a brilliant idea. Yeah. To get kids, yeah, they got yeah. kids. They have the white women. Yep, it's all good. They're really branching they have the angry out. men. Yep, they have me. I, I don't. I, I honestly, man, this might come off a little, a little weird, but I think that there's some shit that just should be for the people it's intended for. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, that's like half of UFC, Marvel's problem at the UFC moment. UFC like does Marvel that shit. Marvel tries to be like we're for everybody. It's like, well, you can't make a movie that appeals to everybody. It's not that's possible. Not how it works. So like, yeah. stop trying. It could be intended for everybody though, but it's yeah. not. Yeah. yeah. Like, I guess. You see, but like UFC has this problem with me too where it's like they try really hard. They're like now they have like celebrities and shit going and it's like 
I don't care that Dana Carvey is at the fucking UFC. Fight. It's the same it's possible, same though. thing with the NFL. Like, they should it. look all all the car all the car trashians are there. All the trash. All the um like well, Justin sense. Bieber they, was there. They at least fuck black dudes. So it makes oh sense. god, <laughs> yeah, well. hit a button. I don't know. <laughs> But like, uh, hey, not, that's a fact. Not that part. He said hit a button. Of I dick? hit a button. You did yeah. hit a button. <laughs> not that part, but something along the lines of characters commentating the game might get me to watch. Like if it was like Donald Duck just yelling at the screen the whole game, I, I would love that. <laughs> Every would, like two seconds, he'd be like, <laughs> yeah. Why you Mickey? That yeah, would like, be awesome. <laughs> I would pay to watch that. Well, so, you see uh, Taylor so yeah. Swift up there? Yeah, her new special streaming on Disney Plus. Starting they would totally do that too, 100%. <laughs> I'm entering my era. I'm, I'm, in my, right? I'm in our NFL era. <laughs> Drawer, Mick. <laughs> I just, just rewrote uh, Mickey Minnie's one of Runaway Railway. Every time I say that that name, I have a fucking stroke. <laughs> Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. This is Brad having a stroke <laughs> over here. Hey, nothing can stop you now. <laughs> nothing can stop my stroke. Lumpy's a Swifty. <laughs> our most recent holiday special on Instagram. Lumpy is a Swifty. <laughs> <laughs> I like Taylor Swift. Um, Did anyone oh, damn it. I hit the wrong I know you're going to do that. That's me too. <laughs> Shit. Y'all Whatever. just hate her because she's popular. I don't if, hate her. No, if, if she don't came care. out and did a song with Metallica, you guys would be like, she's so <laughs> cool. Oh, I do not hate Taylor Swift. I hate yeah, what I the NFL her. is doing with her. But it's not her fault. She, her boyfriend I said I is hate just a quarterback. I said, uh, tight end. What? Yeah, he is. Hey, oh. <laughs> Travis Kelsey plays tight end. Actually, he did. Seemed, I say quarterback. I just, yes. meant, I just meant a football player. He seems to, he seems to be turning into a villain, bro. Do you see him st- think of him screaming at Andy? And Reed? Andy Reed, My yeah. favorite Holy thing to come shit. out was the meme of the guy yelling at the coach. That was like that's the, the, meme. That's a, the thing. That was Travis it. Kelsey. It was, yeah, like, it God, was, I want to uh, hit you so much. <laughs> <laughs> throw you it was for bread. Saturday Night Live, by the way. But the, my favorite meme was they had that picture and it was blow that piece of junk out of the sky. And I was like, yep. Brad sent me one. I can't remember which which one did you the, send me. Oh, the, the Iron Man one. Iron Man one. <laughs> yeah. Tony was Stark. Oh, I saw that one too. With a yes. Bunch of yes. <laughs> and then I've seen the um, I've seen another Star Wars one. Damn it! I think I did too. Mm. I forgot what it was. Yeah, I didn't know until I watched because I did not make it. New Father, I passed out after at the end of the first quarter and watched it it's overnight. A fun game. That ending was wild. Yeah, it was. It was. It, it, what's crazy was new overtime rules too. So yeah, that. that that's what made it weird. But anyway, I'm yeah. amazed how many people are Chiefs fans. Like at Splitsville, it's everyone not. there was Chiefs fans. Bro, like, as they're the Patriots a, again. Yeah, it's, 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 oh, okay, well, fair popular. weather. Fans I have this problem with Alabama Bandwagon fans. fans. I have this problem with yeah. Alabama fans because Alabama all of a sudden yeah. is like this huge fucking school. They've always been yeah. big in, in like the SEC and stuff. There's like one but or two people. Like, Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You're not an Alabama fan, bro. I grew up in Alabama. I was an Alabama football player when I was four. I stuck through all the bad shit. You're you're conveniently now a fan two what or three years. What the hell is going on here? After Nick Saban That's was Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just... It's These the people pa- probably couldn't name Patriots do the people it too. that played on yep. the team no. four years ago. No, no, no. So, yeah. and, and it's just it's just one of those things that just happens. But yeah. it's also good for the sport because just sure. like Disney, you need casual fans to, to, to attach themselves to it because that's the most people. The yep. NFL made a boatload of money, so yeah, good for them. It's it's officially off season. I so. also we, we were doing this the bit bears downstairs. Are on the clock. We were doing this bit downstairs where they're like Travis Kelsey with his forty six million dollar deal, and I was like, you know, his girlfriend's probably like, that's so cute. Your little salary. I made that in merch and half the tour last year. She <laughs> she burned more of that flying to the game. That was gas from yeah her, her gas from, from like up the street. No, uh, did you see all the news about the news her taking like, the space she's craft fresh craft down to the bottom of the field? <laughs> <laughs> it's so I funny. couldn't get enough of that. That was so funny. All right, All right MegaCon. Yep. Yeah, we were at MegaCon. <laughs> believe it or this not, this is what happens when there's not a lot of Star Wars news. Hey, we get off the beaten path. This is why people tune in to hate us. Yeah. So, so MegaCon is it came and gone, uh, came and went rather. So how'd you guys? I mean, just enjoy MegaCon for the first time. Like, what yeah. were your expectations going into this? Is my second. This was both of your first MegaCon. Yeah, yeah my but first con. This was my yeah, first yeah, four in a row. You go first. This is my first four days. Oh, okay. okay. I only nice. went one day last year. Yeah. Gotcha. Give me your thoughts because I have I have probably different thoughts than you. I think, I mean, everyone, you all involved too, Brad, Tom, everyone was like telling me how much I was going to love it ahead of time. And obviously, yeah, I loved it. I'm hooked. So like cons, I'll go to any mega con. I'll, maybe not this year, but maybe some dragon cons here and there because it's not that far away. Oh, it's Atlanta, Atlanta, right? Yeah. Yeah. So and we then, should look into that actually. Yeah. Thinking about it, yeah. And then definitely celebrations. I mean, we're going to Tokyo. Atlanta's, I I'm love gonna, Atlanta too. I was, yeah, like, it's I'm, fun to I'm visit. It sounds fun. Yeah, yeah. I stayed there overnight once and it, it was a beautiful downtown. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, where yeah. the Falcons play look gorgeous. But yeah, go on. No, no, like I'm hooked on cons now and like I only did two days. Hooked on conics. Yeah. <laughs> like <sure>. hooked on <laughs> <products>. <laughs> That's pretty nice. <laughs> nice. 
But uh, like I'm, I only did two days, and the second day I like kind of cosplayed. I just wore like the lieutenant whatever costume. You were like, Avant Varric. That was yeah, okay, regional governor, yeah. assistant to the regional governor. <laughs> I did try to talk to a few people about the event, and hand out some stickers, so I tried. But uh, that's the most I think I'll ever want to cos- quote cosplay at a convention because that was too much, and it was just a jacket and a hat. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm I don't out. know how. I don't know how these do people it. do it. Like, oh man, it's some people wild. Boba I mean, some people Fett barely wear around, stuff, and, they're still and then sweating. the opposite, and it's yeah, you got people yeah. that are naked. I'm like, put some clothes on, please. Yeah, I like, saw one girl that was just like vines. Yeah. Poison I was ivy? like, are you poison ivy? Yeah. I, I couldn't tell. It's like, just put some clothes on. But there, the one, the most egregious one was there was a girl who had on like a button down shirt, and her tits were just out. It's just what it is. Tits were out, and the only other piece of cosplay she had was that she kind of had the Joker makeup. <laughs> Sounds about right. It's either and, that and or Harley I mean, Quinn. And you I don't can call mean, it like, egregious, but I mean. They want to dress the now, that way. Now they want to dress that way. What version of the Joker has it? Has I don't know their, their version. tits out. Is Taylor's is there, version? <laughs> is Taylor's there a multiverse version. in DC? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so there, there DC is like one who does it. There well. you go. Yeah, you're probably not wrong for sure. <laughs> I'm a. I'm a <laughs> what, what's the? Uh, what's his name? What's his name? I'm a Joker variant. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> Now, oh, speaking of, wh- put your tits away. My kids are here. <laughs> there was a, a billion costumes that like I had no idea what the hell they were. Yeah. But I'm like, that's well done. I don't Hold know on. what it is. As Bra- it's put well your done. tits away. My kids are here. As Brad said, as he got stepped on for five dollars. Oh, that, that was, was the, wild. That shit was so too. dumb. Yeah, and I was like, I looked at my kids in the eye as I handed the five dollars. Like, don't be like me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, You're I like look away. Look I away. saw people in comments <laughs> saying that people who have done that at other conventions in different cities have been arrested. It's got it's. I mean, I, mean, what, I don't know it, about what is it? that, but it's weird. It's not prostitution. It's just somebody has a kink by is getting stepped on. Because that's the intent. I don't know. Who's doing it's not that? Sex. that? That doesn't have a kink to do that. So yeah, they therefore, have a kink, that makes but it then, sex work. Yeah, I know. But like, can you so make that's the, illegal. But can you make the argument that it is sex work? That's the thing. Yes, first off, all sex work should be legal. Uh, Agree. But so. I totally I mean, understand. Then you it. get like, what is quote like a kink like? I paid people, uh, not people, I paid Charles Soule to sign my comics. Like, is that... No, I want to pay Charles Soule to step kink, on me. A kink is something that is that is tied to a <laughs> sexual... But it could be for chest. some people. Maybe that turns them on to have... Yeah. Like, if you, if, if you're you getting an line. autograph on a comic book turns you on, you... There's you, weird people You need a there. better therapist than Kyle. Yeah, 100%. Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Kyle's the one who gave him that kink, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, which he, it really makes my dick hard when he but signs my, my, my comic book. To get out of the weird stuff. <laughs> Charles Soule was awesome. He was cool, yeah. for like 10 minutes was sick. He signed... Four thing, three things that I brought. That was awesome. Sounds butt cheek. Yeah, but then we kind of I, met Cameron as we were walking. Bit, as, we were walking yeah. as we were walking away, I was like, "I think he's over there." You're like, "No, he's not." I was like, I'm, "Yeah, I bro, had I'm no him. idea what he looked like." So <laughs> now that I've met him, I know what he looks like. Yeah, but yeah, he was pretty awesome. everyday he, looking guy. Yeah. He might yeah. come on the show at some point. Let's just say yeah, that. we talked to him about that. Say that. So he possible. Might be making we would. What he said? Love it. He looked at us and was like, "Sure," and then just uh, completely walked. Yeah, all right. I'm yeah. just kind of and then flipped us off. As a, no, he didn't. But he's like, "Get the fuck out of here." Yeah. We're like, "That's fair. That's yeah. fair." I can't. He was only. It was only five bucks for his autograph too. Yeah, which so is I crazy. got it on the Kylo Ren number one, the Darth Vader number one. Oh, wow, and five bucks really? Yeah. For the that, Kylo, that guy could charge more. Oh, 100 percent. At least in my eyes, shit. Yeah, especially if it's on something like a Kylo number one or something. Yeah, like, that's gonna be worth. You're more of the comics guy than I am, Brad. So I don't know. It's already worth quite a bit, and I, I have the I have one. I have I got mine graded. It was like an eight something. I think I need to get mine graded, especially yeah. now, and yeah. then get it in one mm-hmm. of those cool boxes. A little harder because you unless you have a picture of him signing it, because then they have to verify that it was him. And True. Harder, but because CGC will actually at conventions. Uh, do autograph uh, um, authentic authentic authentication. I can't speak. That word I feel is. like that's not a word. There you go. Let's they'll go with that. they'll like go over there and be witnesses to you getting it signed by them nice. and stuff. So that's the fact that I have multiple ones. Does that help? Maybe if they see like, oh look, it's the no, same. No, because the same dipshit could have signed the same one four yeah. times. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, so next time you do that, if you want to get them graded, because you can drop. You, if I'd have known you wanted to get them graded, we could have dropped them off there. Because I'm, I'm a member of CGC. Hey, oh shit! Yeah, yeah they, they, they were right in the middle there. there. Right there, you could drop yeah. them off and get it done before the cons over, which is really fucking cool. That they do that. I wish yeah. they would do that at celebration. But yeah, 100. Well, percent They should. <sighs> the con was amazing though. Yeah, man. I had a great time. So it it as far as your expectations when you asked that, well, it, it hit it hit it for me exactly good. what I thought it was going to be. Excellent. Yeah. There was, was actually more variation of 
Wasn't programming cool? yeah. than I would have thought there yeah. would have been. And there was stuff we didn't see. There was wrestling yeah. there. There was like there was gaming. Battle bots there. Yeah. Like, we, I didn't know the battle bots we watched until battle bots. Bentley came yeah. in. And was we like, watched battle bots. It's Witch Doctor. I Almost like, late to our panel because he was in there in the <laughs> that corner. Was the Lego. That was the Lego room. <laughs> I got to feed some fat butterflies. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> what was yeah. that? Uh, that was those legit feeding real butterflies. Oh, really? it actually yeah. was. Okay. Surprised. I thought it was maybe a $75 weird cosplay. Yeah. I wish our <laughs> two, panel was two on like neck beards the day, and, and like on my, on my second day because I went in like the backstage or whatever the like programmer. Oh, so I the first yeah. my first entrance ever. I was so disoriented. I was like, "Where's anything in this place?" But then yeah. the second day, I got to come in through the main entrance, like the guest entr- entrance. I'm like, "Oh, this makes so oh, much yeah. more sense now." Like I now took I, him through our special entrance. Yeah. So I was so lost. I didn't know where anything was the first day. I but the in, second day, I got to see it, and I'm like, "Oh, this makes sense. This layout." So I wish I would have seen it. I parked at the the hotel across the street, like you know where you'd exit. At the bo- at the uh, at the end, where like the that one check mm-hmm. by the sky bridge, uh, that yeah. was my in and out every day. Except the first day when we had to go pick up our badge. But I wish uh-huh. I had in and out. By the way, oh me too. <laughs> by the way, little tip for parents out there: so MegaCon charges for tickets for children, but there's also a coupon you can print off that's good for every day but Saturday that gives the kids the same access that your badge has. Nice, so pretty good. Keep an eye out for that. Maybe they'll be next limit? year. I think it's the twelve. I mean, Maybe it's 10, obviously like isn't it's Sorry, like, Evan, is? you turn 31 tomorrow. You yeah, won't no. be able to glam onto one of if ours. If I shave, fucking though, butchers. I look 15. Here's my so. son, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> Evan T. I already do have a son named Evan. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Bentley's middle name is Evan. No. Oh, I didn't know that. Named after Evan. I, I see and, that. And before Mathematically, I, before I don't know if it makes sense. It doesn't make sense because I didn't know him. No, no, no. He wasn't that lucky that part. No. You don't want to put that on your son. No, that's that's true. Yeah. Might as well give him the the middle name. Queen Skeet. Yeah. Much Bentley better. Queen's key. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm definitely going to like celebration a million times more. And I love Megacon. So like celebration is going to be because it's going to be that little corner. That was that little Star Wars. It was Village, Moss, yeah. Moss something. I forget what it was I called. Forget. Moss but, Pelgo. I don't know. Knock off. But yeah, it, that, but an entire convention of that, I'm going to be yeah. in heaven. Mm-hmm. So it, And every vendor is Star Wars. Like yeah. it's, it's not just like, because the vendors here, they had Star Wars stuff and there was, a, but like there was. Uh, first of all, there was a lot of Darkwing Duck stuff, which made me very happy. I, I bought yeah. none of it. I, I actually didn't buy anything for myself. I thought you bought the variant. Excited. Well, I didn't buy that for me. Holly got it for me. Oh, all right. Yeah. I bought nothing for myself. Oh, I bought me some figures. I found a few that I wanted, and then when I went back to go to the same booth, they were gone. That sucks. Yep. Yeah. So, Did I take them? I probably <laughs> it's very possible. Too, so. I probably spent two hundred. Oh yeah, you got two hundred twenty on merch. There's a like, there's a figure Evan called out that he wanted on air a few shows ago that we found. I forgot no that shit. I did, but yeah. yeah, it was the like two D Jendi Tartakovsky series. Oh yeah, 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 the yeah, Anakin. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Man. That was pretty sick. And then he that. was like mulling it over. I'm like, dude, you called this I out. If I you don't buy this, so. I will throw you down the fucking hall <laughs> yeah. like a bowling ball. <laughs> yeah, cheap. Do fuck. I have to pay five dollars for that? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. charge your ass Fair. for getting off on me throwing you down there. <laughs> the the three holes stick in my, my <laughs> thumb in his ass, like all lubed up and shit. Go go on before I go further with this joke. Yeah, it's, I am it's sad there wasn't just like aggressive. a MegaCon t shirt or something. There was. There were. At the, at the MegaCon exclusive. Well, I must boots. not have liked the design or something. I, I bought I, the I layup, by the way. Oh, you did? Bought it for Lily. I bought nice. it for Lily. I got Courtney the uh, Ashley Eckstein Con exclusive Clone Wars long sleeve. Oh yeah, and then she, I bought oh, she figures was for me. Yeah, the she her was universe booth. Was that yeah, was the best cool merch. One. Like, if I wanted to get that something was that wasn't a figure, I would have got. Something Actually, it looked like Ashley was there all universe. four days. Evan and I like practically brushed shoulders with her. Yeah, we were like walking back and forth. Yeah, that's awesome. Just right next to you. Yeah, we saw I, Gina Carano I, there signing. Carano. Yeah, yeah. do you want to do you want to talk about her real quick? Saw Esposito there signing too. Of course, we want to talk about her. Yeah, so that's pretty big news. I mean, that's huge news. The last thing I'll say too was the panels were awesome and. You could just I didn't like, see you could just walk up to them too, like Amon <laughs> and now, like, that Diana. That doesn't happen at celebration, yeah, by the like, way. Mm, You're gonna have to get in line. Yeah, Those. but Amon and Diana were like, "Hey, just come up to us at our signing place. Just walk on up." And I was like, "There's no way that's true." And then I saw people doing it. I'm like, "Oh, I yeah, you've done that. You can walk. You can pay like walk up on like day of." Yeah, mm-hmm. dang. But that panel was awesome. It's on. I put it on YouTube. But they got stuck on the elevator for a while. And I saw that. I panel, was leaving so. to go, and I saw them go live. Yeah, they went live on and Instagram. Was, I'm like, we're in the elevator. We're not I was texting make it. Patrick. I'm like, did oh, you wow. see them go on live? Because he's like, we're in the Ahsoka panel. I'm like, yeah. oh. he was about to walk out, and I'm like, dude, just stay. They're gonna yeah. get out, and they eventually did. That's Thank cool. God he stayed. We got to get him on the show soon because he is awesome. Yeah, like he's so much fun. He's cool. Um, but Gina. So Ooh, I, hang yeah. on. Before that, I met uh, Billy West, Katie Segal. Jamie Presley, we'd spent like hours with that woman, it felt like, because my mom's obsessed, and I didn't even know that. My parents was their first convention. They had a great time. 
Uh, and then we met, we met Karen Monaghan and yeah. Ewan McGregor, mm-hmm. you and me. So I've, I don't know if we brought that up. At the no, no, we never said that. So. Yeah, that was. I realized that we could. I could bring the the tickets I bought like more than one person. So I was like, for, for your birthday, just come with me. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. That was really cool. Yeah, thank dude. you yeah, for sure. One hundred percent, dude. That was yeah, so we met sick. Cal Kestis, and then you also met the Gotham Joker because he's the Joker in mm. DC's oh, yeah. Gotham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's Ian on Shameless. Was that show any good? I Gotham, started watching sure. it when it first. I watched like the first season, I think, and then I completely gave up on it. <laughs> Overall, it's you know it's got some great parts about it. I never completely finished it. Um, I remember Kyle not liking the ending all that much, so we'll have to we'll have to figure that out. So um, I know we keep saying that this is it for MegaCon, but like no, 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 I want to talk about MegaCon after seeing, Gina Carano. Seeing Kevin again, that was one of the highlights. Yeah, he wasn't he was just there for MegaCon, but like us too. And I, I hung out with him for like four hours one night. He just came over to the apartment. He's and like, the best, I man. miss him, man. I love you guys. Sat there and cuddled. We did. We did. Yeah, Listen, didn't have share. to pay him five five bucks. No, nope, that was free. All right, yeah. Gina Carano. But, well, we got to thank everyone too for coming. Oh to the yeah, panel, thank you for the panel. That was awesome. Panel. Was that time. was the highlight. Of yeah, for sure. For me, for sure. It was just good seeing time. everyone in that room and I didn't know off people that didn't know that stuff. That was same. Cool. I was like, we're not going to teach anybody anything. Like everyone knows this, and people but, who I feel like should know it didn't know it. Which yeah. is kind of crazy. Yeah, I was like, wow. Calling I can't them out here as the Halcyon no. should have known that. Stuff. Oh my god. And Labeth, no, just kidding. Calling you out in a good way, being silly. Yeah. Um, but that was awesome. Thank you all for coming. Yeah, that that was an incredible core memory experience. And yeah, dude. It was it was so much fun. MegaCon the weekend flew by. And I've watched that on YouTube like three times. That Sweet. panel just to be like, oh, like good times. I'm glad the video worked. <laughs> I, 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 Who, the video in the Zoom was that all your work? Was that all? No, you? the video was, was him. You? The was Zoom was video. mine. Yeah, y- yeah. Y'all killed it. That was the coolest thing. Thanks, bro. Like I'm so glad you did that. Yeah, if it was, it was just the audio, I would have been happy. But now that we have, the well, that whole was our thing, Star Wars like, podcast day episode. Yeah. Our the, the audio yeah. and then our interview with Lucy and catching yeah. up with what he was doing. Yeah. So thanks both of you for that hard work. Oh yeah, was crazy. It was fun. The editing did take a while to be honest but it was worth it mm-hmm. it was good because so if you haven't seen it go to youtube.com slash jedi talk and check out the video from the panel because all the information is there plus the infographics that we showed mm-hmm. are on screen as well so you can go watch it and it's different than the last time if you have if you did see the last one there is a difference mm-hmm. especially with us all, all and the next oh, yeah. one is going to be different too yep and the next one we're going to do i have an idea for you guys i'll tell you off the air for yeah, celebration tell off the air. F- yeah, screw these people you, of course i'm not gonna there's say gonna that. be some new audio though people. i don't I need someone found. never mind i went through the old audio files and found some stuff so it'll be in the new one um all right so let me let me just say one more thing about uh, MegaCon that Evan wasn't a part of, unfortunately, with Ewan McGregor on Sunday. That Brad and I got to meet him. That was crazy because they called us early, so we got in and out quicker than yeah. I anticipated. Mm-hmm. Um, and out of everybody that we met that weekend, um, he was by far. And this isn't a knock against like Cameron, but like Ewan like reached out his hand to us to yeah. shake our hand. He was very welcoming. Nice. Um, he was just jovial and. What was crazy to me, I don't know if this was to you, but when I was leaving, I remember it hitting me, like hearing him talk next to me, like shit, that's Obi Wan Kenobi. Yep. Like fucking hell. It's that, not that a put on, like yeah. it's just it's just him. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like really that cool. one like interview he did where he's like we saw the kid in the car process that it yes. was him. He goes, yeah. That's Obi Wan Kenobi. Because yeah. he told us what pose to do in the picture. He's like, oh, Here, he let's do this. And yeah. and hearing oh, him tell us that cool. was just like, Okay, sir. Yeah. 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 See they didn't they yes, wouldn't let me in because they've listened to all of our podcasts and they're like this kid's going to say hello there. Not we can't, we can't let him in. Yeah, it, like, it, we can't it, let him in. So I couldn't get in. Every bone in my body not couldn't. to say hello there. It was I hard. It was I would have done it. And he would have been like, you're that 55th person in the last eight minutes to say that to me. Also, I think people don't. I think people. some people like, uh, I've seen people like, he didn't even want to shake my hand. It's like, it's like do you know how many people they yeah. come in contact you, with? Yeah, look like, at the line. Like, like that It's line gross just, at a certain point. Mm-hmm. People yeah. sweaty and gross. Like, I, I don't know if I would. I... I I am a handshake fist. I'd fist bump probably. I would say yeah. I'd yeah. have yeah. a fist bump What's up, dude? How's it going? I'd be cool with a fist yeah. bump. Yeah. I'm not a germaphobe by yeah. any stretch, but some of those people are fucking gross. I appreciate Cameron <laughs> shaking my hand back because I did reach out to yeah, him. Yeah, if you like, bring in a group of like four people, you can't go like down the line. Yeah. Right? So, I, yeah. The, my only complaint it. is I wish those there was a little more interaction. Yeah. But well, I still get it because there's no way. It would take far too long, but I wish that yeah. there was like a separate. They sell autographs at celebration too. Yes. All right. Same so kind of thing. now that I have my picture with those people, I'm getting my autograph so I can talk that's to smart. them. There you that's go. genius. Yeah. Just go down. I the feel line. like that's the way to do it because mm-hmm. Billy West was just 
interacting with Ed. like I didn't realize I was saying next to him until I heard him do a Fry's voice for somebody. <laughs> That's incredible. And I was like, what the fuck? That's I was incredible. I was like on my phone trying to find where my mom had or my uh, where Holly was with the kids or something. And I look up because I hear him doing fry, and I was just like, "Whoa, that's wild!" How many people come <laughs> up and just go, "Shut up and take my money"? Shut up and take my money. How many people do that? That's great. All right, let's talk about Gina Carano. Yeah, so she has sued Lucasfilm and Disney for wrongful termination. Sounds like she's seeking seventy-five k reinstatement to her job, and possibly she's something only else. seeking seventy-five thousand dollars. That's last I read. It's being nice. Um, and it's being funded by I don't, Twitter. I don't. That's awesome. Elon Musk. I don't get why you sue someone to go back to a job you got fired from. Well, maybe she just wants the closure and to be like, I was right. Suck it. But it's not I totally gonna, get that. It's not like they're going to. They don't want you there. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. Like they don't. They clearly don't want you there. I feel like there would be like some adversarial feelings. I know I would not. Feel Do you like think that. Disney really cares? Because yeah, I remember no. that specifically. And I remember like Twitter pushed them. It bullied Disney into fi- firing her because God, that's all I saw that day on Twitter was yeah. like fire Gina Crown, fire Gina. I'm like, what the hell did she say? Like, I remember just like, and now I remember the whole reading internet it and being like, like, she's right, she's right. I, like, I remember reading that and being like, that's what she got fired for. That it's fine, and then but her her point is everybody else who did it too. Like, yeah, mm. I mean, let's just let's just call it what it is. Pedro Pascal said way worse and gotten. A, just got a not even a slap on the wrist. I don't remember what he said, but I know it was like what twenty seventeen or something. Well, apparently, it doesn't matter when you work for Disney; they don't care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> so I have uh, precedent for that. Yeah, <laughs> you do. I mean, I, I that, do. That's, yep. that's as clear as I fucking do. day. There, yep. I, don't, I don't know. They can pull out something and be like, "So in kindergarten one time, you, you remember said when you pushed that thing. kid down in second grade? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Yeah. So and? remember how your sperm beat out all the other sperm? <laughs> And, uh, and you're, like, yeah. you're like, honestly, not really. I don't remember, <laughs> don't remember it, but that, that is scientifically all. what happened. <laughs> well, um, that's not okay that your sperm, We're gonna that write you, you as a sperm, that. did that. So you are now fired. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't I don't like their firing and hiring practices, but nope. what can you do? And I think she should get that, get that, I, I don't know. I, so we, I don't know, you guys have been, and you guys are aware, you're human beings, you're adults. There has to be a proof of loss of income because you don't just go sue and go like I just want this arbitrary number. Hey, is she make any so, money with Ben Shapiro? <laughs> the fuck no. Um, do you, but do you really think, the Daily Wire do you think that's how did? little she was making a season is $75,000? No, 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 no. Nice. That's just what she wants for like just like loss of but, just but, or she, but she, yeah, yeah, she just wants compensation in general. Yeah. I think she was making more than that. Absolutely okay, then why wouldn't you go after that amount? She's just being no, she, generous and nice. Like, I don't yeah, know. she instead of saying "give me fifty million dollars" or whatever she's saying, she's just like, "just employ me again, so I can prove my worth." More, in a sense, and I think it's more of not Disney employ me again. It's like, hey, Hollywood, like I'm okay. That's not a bad decision like, because yeah. be, bad, good, because good call, what yeah. she was she was you know she got a great she got a good role in Deadpool. I don't know what else she 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 might have been in, and then obviously Cara Dune was a huge break for her because that's how I figured found out about yeah. her. Because it's like the same thing with Johnny Depp. Thankfully, he was obviously right and he won. But and he's, he's like, don't want to go back to Disney, right. but Hollywood and Cara still Dune take me. is a great. But she's character. seeking to get reinstated as as Cara Dune. So, but but because yeah. Cara Dune's a great character, she's yeah, a I great, agree. Strong, I mean, so she's is a, Captain Jack Sparrow. So that's she's not, a strong female character, well. and from from somebody. Uh, who once said to me it was like like I love characters who are like like not a knock against like skinny women who are like like strong and like fighting you know, you know like Wonder Woman Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman she's obviously stronger than everybody but she's thinner than everybody in this room except for Evan maybe yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so it's like but but like Gina Crono is like kind of Gonna kick your fucking ass, like like right. like kick and, my and, fucking and ass. A real like, deal. She was an yeah. MMA fighter. Yeah. She fought in the fucking and strike force thing is what she what she fought. That's crazy. So it's just it's it's such a good character. It's, it's a shame that it got cut like that for that, and it's a shame that it came down to a lawsuit. I I think she's all in the right to make this lawsuit. I agree with consequences for actions of what you sure. say, but Absolutely. again, you, you hold everybody else accountable. It's yeah. not pick I, I and choose. I, that's my yeah. problem. Is you ended up rehiring James Gunn, and he he yeah. he talked about kids and. And, and, and I will. His was jokes, and that's no, I know, and that's I fine. Know. I don't yeah. apologize for jokes. Yeah. I don't think anyone should apologize for jokes. I also don't think you should just say I was joking because you get pushed back on something. That drives me nuts. I was just joking. No, the fuck you weren't. We know the difference between a joke and you know whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, I just think it, the inconsistency and the 
that's just the inconsistency well, for me. And it's, sometimes it's not, they just make up things because they don't like people, so maybe they just don't like her, huh. and they just that's made it true. up. That's it, true. It'll be interesting to see what comes of it. The sad thing is, is uh, you know, I think she lost somebody when Carl Weathers. Yeah. Because she, that, she had a long, very emotional post. post about Carl. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. about how, how much he, he like, like mentored her. For like, and, yep. Yeah. And like was they, they kind of lost touch when she got fired, but he said that he would still message her and be like, stay in there, hang in there, you're going to be okay. This is not the end for you, all that kind of stuff, which is cool. But that was, we, that we found that out the second our panel was over, someone yeah. beelined over to us and was like, Carl Weathers died. We're like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, we turned, we I think it was one of my cause, our cause members came was over it? and showed us. Yeah. Yeah. And I opened the phone and it was Probably just a sponsor for Carl Grief Cargo. It's not from the cause. <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past the cause to have. I don't well, he is a magistrate in the New Republic. So. He's a he's a, uh, he's a bureau- democratic. Uh, Actually, no. Bureau- Grief Karga is a very libertarian esque. Oh, here we go. Hi, magistrate. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Here we go. Are right, you want to talk about predictive programming? Shut the fuck up, Evan. You want to talk about predictive programming? There were five alien killer. commercials. There were five <laughs> alien commercials during the Super Bowl. It was also like getting nine ready Jesus people ones. for disclosure. It was also something about Jesus. Yeah, that AI generated one was weird. They were all weird. I saw. Oh, I only saw the one. Dang, I saw I missed, like three or four ones. I missed it was like, stuff. dang. Yeah, it was wild. No, I, you're not allowed to watch football. <laughs> it's not. It's aliens. It's not but, football. But like. How, what who's what religious organization is paying like seventy million dollars for the ads? Because was, I, I saw it like six times. Of course, it was Christianity. I mean, yeah, of what, course. What do you what do you want? I'm, but there was also some. Uh, there was also uh, what's the place in Clearwater? What's those psychos? Oh, Scientology. Scientology had a few. They oh, got the they money. See? They yeah, got Tom was, Cruise. Oh yeah, they got Tom Cruise. They, they got that. Tom Cruise money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they got Tom Cruise. But yeah. man, yeah, they like Clearwater. Clearwater is the best. I love Clearwater. You know, what, are it, there it, any good commercials? Because didn't the Super Bowl be like that was it? Like you, if Deadpool three commercials Deadpool were three, good. I didn't see the trailer yet. I you forgot did? about it. Okay, I um, there it's was, actually a good trailer. There was you a might really, want to watch it. Really, there's some stuff going on with the MCU in it. There's a there was a really good M and M's commercial. Yes. Do you remember that one where they polished the yeah, rings? Yeah, Dan Marino. Yeah. yeah th- th- <laughs> did you see this one? No. So there was an Eminem commercial where they're like, here, here at uh, Eminem, whatever the fuck. And they're like, we, this is how we make diamonds. We compress M&Ms down and they make they make the call and we polish them with the breaths of people who, who <laughs> almost made almost it. Almost made it. Yeah. And oh, it's like damn. one former who didn't Owens. make it. And then uh, <laughs> nice. who was the celebrity? Who was the chick? Oh, Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson was like, I, she's like, I, I, I didn't, I almost... Uh, like almost won an Oscar, two an Oscars or Emmys. And the, or the, like the, the red goes, "Yeah, you lost both in one night." <laughs> Dang, <laughs> my sister. I was like, "How cool for these people to like shit on themselves." I think it's cool. Yeah. I love when people do that. My sister works for them, and they got to see works the commercial Mars? early. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Uh-huh. That's cool. Nice. So like, How did it work for Mars? That's uh-huh. that's awesome. Yeah. Did she like send you stuff? Um. No, but I should ask for free stuff. Should. I should. I should. Yeah. I should yep. take advantage yep. of this. This episode brought to you by Mars. It's Tom oh my God. in the background. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This AMSR. episode brought to you by M and M's. Never do a podcast <laughs> without M and M's. Yeah. Anytime we're talking about Star Wars, I have a mouthful of peanut butter. <laughs> Please know that I will be off a few shows for diabetes, unrelated to diabetes. the sponsorship of Mars. <laughs> diabetes, unrelated. We're <laughs> we're contractually obligated to eat a cake of candy bread. <laughs> he needs some milk. I do need some milk. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh shit! That is All right. Great. What else we got? Do you have a um? Do you have a wild story this week about a about a former uh, former? This I was your idea, notebook. and you have yet yeah. to come up with a single good story. Oh, no, no, he gave us a oh, couple. I forgot about that because I'm yeah. so rusty. It's been so long. What are you talking about? Like it's been like been two weeks since we recorded. We had the I busiest keep fucking to it every time. weekend. It's been seven years. Yep. You act like you made an effort to keep fucking talking. put a show together. Keep talking. God I'll, fucking I'll damn I'll it. I'll find something. Keep talking about something. <laughs> I think about I'll, I'll remember a story. How many shows have you edited, Evan? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to stay that way. Yep. Uh, I mean, I've only told two so far. So it's like, like you act like I've told fifty, and they've all. That's been true. Bad. I'm just, true. I'm just chomping at the bit. The guy that checked out Jesse's ass was a pretty good one. You know, that's a good <laughs> that's story. a weird ass yeah. fucking story. Yeah, I don't. Weird I, man, I'm weird I shit. love and hate that story because it makes yeah. me uncomfortable. Same. But it also makes I'm the same laugh. way. Like I love it because it's so ridiculous, but Fuck. I hate it because it's so ridiculous. It's, it's, it's ass. just uh, yeah. Jesse's ass is got Jesse's, it going on. <laughs> Jesse's ass. Um, I can run through our friends at Star Wars Newsnet who were at MegaCon too. We just didn't. Oh see no, them. shit! Really? Yeah, we can run through some of their news. Ian McDiarmid discusses Palpatine's return, stating he always had a plan B, so he's defending this somehow. All right, this 
this next news was the one that what Chaps, a company man. Ian I know, I know. He's, he's he's such a company guy. I mean, he he embodies Palpatine. Um, I mean, he wouldn't have gotten paid if it weren't for Palpatine coming back for for more. Yeah, he's like, fuck yeah, more. Let's go. Yeah, um, Mace. Don't Windu, blame him. Mace Windu, according to Samuel L. Jackson, is not dead, and he wants a Disney Plus show. Fuck no. I nope. I don't know. Nope. Nope. You talk your. Well, you don't like you the don't, character. No. So right, and 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 that's the bit but, here is why I don't want the but show. It's so funny because he's it. right about everything he says about Anakin. He's a hundred percent correct. But he himself but he goes about it wrong. Stop. Like, yeah, still right. But he himself contributed to that. Yeah, but only but, only because he knew he was right. The only good thing he did was but finally go did. to Palpatine at the end. Like that's the good. He did try to stop everything. It's just he took way too long and yeah. did it wrong. Yeah. What are you supposed? What are you gonna do? The cancels the smoke. Now, if, if Qui Gon was in in his spot, Qui Gon would ended the whole thing. I don't like, want, He would have. He would have done it. Mason didn't like Qui Gon. I don't want. Yeah, a I don't. I don't want. Like, I don't want a Qui Gon show. I think the characters. No, are, neither do I. I, I don't no, want. Same. I was, I'll take a Mace show. I was. Nah. I was playing the bet. I don't want a Mace Windu show. I was playing the bit. I don't, I don't want to. I don't need it. It's not top of my list. But if they announce it, I'll be like, "Cool, I'm here." I'm gonna be excited not, at anything they announce. But there yeah, are so yeah. many different stories that I would give a fuck about. But like, over what this could one. they do? Yeah, I want, and I think it's more. Then, this is retconning. You have to shoehorn him in, unless he's like young Mace Windu. Then it's for sure not gonna be Samuel L. Jackson playing him. I mean, they did. So with what's Boba the point? Fett. So like, that yeah, show wasn't very like good. It. So <laughs> yeah, so. Don't do that again. Yeah. Well, let's talk Learn about from an, your mistakes. <laughs> let's talk about an actor all three of us want to see again in Ben Middleston. Did you see that he said he's been not asked to reprise his role Just as like director Krennic and Andor? Liam Neeson's not in Kenobi. Remember? Yeah, I'm not, in, it. I'm not yeah. in Kenobi. I'm not in Kenobi. Yeah. Uh, like, is, so. is he in any big things coming up? Was he in the last Marvel movie? Oh, he was, was in he Secret busy Wars. He was the Disney Plus show that I didn't. Uh, there's no fucking way. Unless, well, that's even unless haven't written for this character yet. That's even easier though, because don't they film half that stuff in the same place? I mean, I know some of Andor is in like Europe and stuff, so they're actually going to location. Thankfully for Speaking that. Speaking of but, uh, Andor, wrapped. Yeah, Diego oh, really? Luna. Yeah, Sweet, yeah. Okay. Diego Luna posted that he was done with Sweet. Andor season two. How? I, for, I bet he's in it though. Forgive me again for I know I've asked this like a thousand times. When? How far is Andor from Rogue One? How many? Years five years. Season, five season five one years. was five years away. This season closer, two is going to be. Between two and five years away from Rogue One, it's going to progressively work. Like it's going to be a lot of time jumps. Okay, so he would. It's not like he is ten years where he would like not necessarily be in that position yet. He's definitely in that director role, and we know oh, sure. we know it from the books he's involved still too. But like, yeah, yeah, hands on in canon, nothing you can retcon. He is definitely. I would involved. assume there would be. I would love to see Galen Erso and him oh, meeting. Too. Yeah, like from the Catalyst you book, you got to that book fucking slaps. That book is so good. We'll dude. see yeah. if he's bit. We'll see if he's lying to us. I don't. He yeah. doesn't strike me as the kind of person that would bullshit about that. I mean, I guess Unless neither does he Liam. Has to, contractually, That's, yeah, like, and yeah. Because if you say no comment, everyone's like, "Oh, he's fucking in it." Like, yeah, it, you, you know, either what I mean? have to say yeah. yes. You kind of no. either have to and lie. If you can't say yes, right. then you got to kind of lie. Which yeah. it, I, I will say this: if if he is not involved by the time Andor wraps as a series, what a fucking colossal mistake! Well, Andor is only going two seasons. Yeah. This is only this is the last one. This is yeah. it. Mm-hmm. They're only going two seasons. That, that was Seriously. That was from the jump. Andor was always only going to be two seasons. I thought it was. Oh, it was a limited series. You're right. I don't know. Yeah. They, I don't know. They put a time on it. Yeah. yeah. All, all Andor was always. They always said two seasons. We're done. They've never lost the five. Yeah. Unlike Kenobi. Kenobi's like, well, maybe we can do I more. I fucking it's hope like, we don't do another season of Kenobi. God damn yeah. it. God damn but it. Yeah. Do another season. From of the Kenobi. jump, like you said, day one, Andor has been two seasons, and I hope. And believe that Krennic's in it, but if he's not, I trust him. Because, like I keep saying, I hated Bad Batch. They made me love Bad Batch. I don't really like Andor. They're gonna make me. I'm love gonna. Andor. I am like, committed that's how they to work. a rewatch of Andor. Do it. I'm committed to a rewatch of Andor because I, I think I went in going like this is gonna be a Mando type show where there's gonna be like big fucking moments in every. Episode. So happy it was different. I gotta go in with that. Like, I feel like we could thought. just put this in the same clip here in every podcast yep. we do. We mm-hmm. do the same discussion every yep. single. Yep. Sure do. Where we're like, same. You know, What'll happen first? It, world peace or Brad watching Andor? I'm not gonna probably rewatch world it. I'm peace. honest about not rewatching. I'll probably it. die before they one of those two things. Yeah. 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 I'm not rewatching it, but they're gonna make me like it because season two will be good. All right Let's then. See. Uh, the what acolyte a fucking mistake. <laughs> God damn it! The acolyte in. coming out this summer, according to reports. Interesting. What? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what else is coming out this summer? Well, tomorrow, Young Jedi Adventures. Can't wait. But do you know what else is coming out this summer at Walt Disney World? Tiana's? Oh, yeah, Tiana. Oh, did you see Adventure. the animatronic video? I'm staying spoiler free. I was like, well, we no, s- I don't need to see we it. We saw an animatronic. I don't, I'm not going to say who it's for. Well, it's, I know it's Tiana. Okay. But it, I can't wait. 
They have one animatronic. What? No, they don't. They have several. First off, we saw the skeleton of another one, so we've at least confirmed and C2. And, and don't they promised dozens. I, I just When you go on that ride and you come out and <laughs> you see them They promise a lot. They promised roaming but droids. But they've been showing like, us. That's the thing. I want to give friends. Disney credit here. Yeah. They showed us a roaming droid, Jake, that was going to be in the land and then wasn't. They show us a lot. They showed us the BD droids. Not there. I don't believe it till I yeah. go and yeah, see it those, with my eyes. But those, those things are like all testing, and they were clear about that when they when they show that. I, I want to be wrong, be but right the last eighty five things they've done, I'm, I'm with you. On mostly this. have been terrible. This. I think this is going to be awesome. I my only I concern so. is that when he t- I told him about this this morning, and I, we were talking about it a little bit. Uh, my only concern is like how quick of a fucking turnaround this was. But Which they didn't weird, have to do anything. They take Disney, eighteen years to make something. This is I what, agree. This is the thing that's concerning me. Like it's not like they have a track record of getting progressively faster. They're sure. getting progressively slower. But this so the is fact different. That they were in willing to. Yeah, you were right. They can fabricate things to do, but it's yeah. still, <laughs> I know, still like they still take for fucking ever. But yeah. this will be a year and a half. Wow! Holy cow! I know. Paul Guinness, Bob Iger's fastest thing he's ever made. I. I'm with Tom. I think they did a lot of this shit off site. They had to have. They had to. Which have. is smart. That's what they used to do. Because they, they had like, all this used time. To be smart. They yeah. announced this in when, like right before the pandemic. I it think was it was during. The okay, yeah. during. Okay. Yeah. Um, you but guys going to see Phantom Menace in theaters this May? Absolutely. Thinking about. Yeah, it. I figured you were. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to go see it at the drive-in. That's my new oh, favorite that'd be cool. place to do. I saw Empire Strikes Back at the drive-in. May third. Nice. Put it out. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. Fr- Either way, I'm going. Absolutely. Hasbro announced that new E-wing. I that love looked that. good. That looked yeah, really that good. What cool. is that? Is that from Ahsoka? Is yeah. that what that's from? From like the first episode, and yeah, that's it. So. Okay. It chases down Sabine on the speeder bike. <sighs> they, they've been killing it with those, because the Lego version of that looks awesome, too. And that looks even better. So like, they're, that's a really good vehicle they've been really killing it with. The Mandalorian and Grogu, probably going to be the next Star Wars movie we get. Bob Iger confirmed a 2026 release. Voice. No shit. So they're filming this already, then. They, they, the rumor was production are going around June. That still seems a little late. I feel which, like it's probably at least in pre-production right sucks, now. Which sucks because that means even if she wins, Gina won't be in that. There's no way. Even I don't because this court case thing is going to take forever. So I don't even think you if see she win. wins, I, I, I don't you know. never know. But they I, reshoot I, her in or something. I don't think I don't you know. see a win. Yeah. I think you see a settlement. Yeah, that's fair. Stellan yeah. Skarsgård, satisfied with Andor season two ending, reiterates praise for the show's writing. There's a lot. There's a lot of nothing going on right now. Yeah, just well, just random stuff. They had that badass figure of the Cal three pack, Kestis, yeah, but dark side Cal Kestis. Yeah. Uh, Amazon Cal. exclusive. Yeah, that's dope. Cool. That looks so good. Second sister, and I think a uh, purge trooper. Yeah. There's something really cool about that big, like multi pack black series pack. Have they ever done a three dope. pack like that? I know there's yeah. been like, oh, like, yeah. the Galaxy Edge one that had like four, like, but I'm, I don't know if I've ever. Yeah, really... I've got the Ray Chewy, uh, not Ray Chewy and there's Hondo. A Porg and a Hondo. Yeah, yeah, but like aside got from those the four Hondo. packs, have they done? Badass. No, you know what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the dual pack of Obi Wan. Yeah, like I've seen a ton of the series. dual packs. Yeah, I don't know like, if there's been a three. Is like I got an Andor dual pack at. MegaCon. Yeah. It was Andor and B2 awesome. Emo. Ooh, nice. That's cool. I think I saw that. I remember seeing a B2 Emo. 20 bucks. The one, 20? That's, that's, that, you can't you steal. That. You got to steal. That, yeah. was, that was a convention exclusive. It that was. was a celebration exclusive. Yeah. Ooh, shit. How yeah. is that only 20 bucks? I don't know. That dude couldn't get rid of it. Yeah. Wow. I don't understand that. At a certain point, you're not making money. Let it go for less. They, they do that, <laughs> though. On. They do haggle because like, there was a figure. Yeah. They don't Kylo. want to pack that shit and take it back home. There was a Kylo <laughs> that was 40. Because yeah, it was the last... like single Kylo figure I needed for my collection. Not counting like the one that you have that has like the flag and stuff. I don't have that. But the ones that are just Kylo in the box, I have all of them now because I bought the last one at Megacon and the dude wanted 40. And I was like, I don't know. Let me leave. If it's here by the end of the day, I'll come back and I'll get it. And he heard me say that and he's like, how about 35? And I was like, deal. So I was like, 35. And it's a Force Awakens Kylo. So it's like the oldest one. There you go. So I was like, I'll take it. Nice. All right then. And then we got the last Ray too for our Ray collection. Sweet. So we have every single Ray and every single Kylo. Ever. Perfect. Nice. And you gave me last year the was that last year? Yeah. The cool Kylo in the white box. Oh, the first edition Kylo. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's that's awesome. That's a cool figure for Hell Galentine's yeah. Day. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was your birthday slash slash uh, Galentine's, Galentine's Day. Day. Galentine's. Yeah. Galentine's. Brointines. No, Galentine's Day. That's a real thing. What is Galentine's? It's from Parks and Rec. Yeah. Oh, so it's not a real thing because that's it's a TV a show. It's a real right? thing. TV shows it's now a real are thing real because uh, all the single thing white thing TV shows are real. <laughs> <laughs> but people have all turned it away. tired. All, all TV shows yeah. are real. Everything I is wish. real. Join the cause. 
Do we have right, any but, updates we want to share about the event? We well, I'm not going to give away the ending, obviously, but he, Tom came up with the, the ending. coolest ending of all time. Really? Like, it's I Yeah. Like, I thought we had a solid ending already, but Tom, like, put down the work. It's like, how about like, we execute Princess Leia? And I'm like, deal. No. Get real close to it. But she has to be in her, really? in her uh, slave bikini <laughs> top, right? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, or, um, not for all age. those idiots out Oof. there. Yeah. Uh, Hut, Hut Slayer. Yeah, there you go. Hut Slayer. But no, okay. Tom came up with the coolest ending of all time. I like so it, yeah. I love it. I like How long it. did that take you? Oh, I don't know. It, it was floating around up there for a while. I, I I don't know. It just was it just matter of putting it down to paper. But I think yeah. it I think it's a perfect ending for everybody hear. involved. I One million hear. percent. Uh, yeah. And it makes it more dynamic than something we already kind of was doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we'll tell Brad off okay, air, but cool. yeah. I get to know before you fucks do. We got like go. a little over two weeks, dude. Two weeks from Friday. Yes, and then the real close. crew party. The well, it's because one of us is out of town, so it's the only time gotcha. she could do it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But gotcha. then we'll have a crew party after. Sounds good. So it's going to be sick. I'll bring the bourbon for myself. <laughs> That's the Food will be provided by me and Taylor, but bring Where's your this own at? Drinks. Is it your place? Yeah. Okay. Bring your own drinks. Sweet. So food is provided. Okay. Cool, man. I like how I'm announcing it, even though no one listening <laughs> is invited. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all yeah, right, dude, everyone. It's coming together. It's going to be sick. We'll see you then. We'll sick see you it. at next year's MegaCon. We'll see you at Celebration. We'll see you at a lot of places. We're, We're going to try to get a panel, but we might be fighting a lot of Homeland uh, for Japan. Would, what would that sound like? Panel. You're the impression guy. You go for that one, buddy. <laughs> maybe we should. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have him go for it. <laughs> Not touching that one with a 10 foot stick. <laughs> T- 20 meter stick, you mean? Yes, because they're in the metric system Japan. there. Yeah. yeah. All right, everybody. Now, that, that makes sense. Again, Jesus Christ. We'll see you guys on the next show. Until then, stay safe. May the force be with you. Always in Tabuite. Rise, Jedi Knight. Or in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs>